Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we're going to show you how to create surfaces of revolution using the revolve command. So to use the revolve command, you first have to have a database curve that you would like to revolve, and then an axis. And that axis can be defined any number of ways. And the reason you might want to create a surface of revolution is to define something like a hemisphere for maybe a far field for external aerodynamics calculations, where your aircraft is kind of placed in the middle of that far field. Another example would be like a nozzle geometry where you're revolving something about an axis or like a, a duct or maybe a pipe network. So this example over here, we've got a nonlinear axis that we're revolving another curve about to create the geometry. So let's go over here and create these two surfaces of revolution so you can see what that looks like. So I've got my half circle curve. So I'm going to go ahead and select that database curve and go to create revolve. And the next thing it's going to ask me to pick is the axis. So the generatrix is the curve that I want to revolve. And then the axis is the axis that I need to define for the surface of revolution. And there are various ways to define that axis. I can either pick another database curve to revolve about, two points, or a point in direction where I actually can pick an XYZ value or type it in and then pick a direction, either the XYZ axis or specify an explicit vector. In this case, I'm just going to pick two points. I'll pick this point and this point to define my axis. You'll notice that it starts to sketch that surface of revolution, and I can change the angle. In this case, I'm going to create a hemisphere. So I'll do 180 degrees and click OK to accept that. And then I'm just going to grab that and flip it to shaded so you can see the result of that operation. So the next example has a nonlinear curve or a, an axis that we're going to be revolving about. So I'm going to select this curve, go to Create, Revolve. I'm going to clear my axis from the last operation. Again, it's asking me to define my axis. So I will flip this to Curve instead. We're not going to be doing two points or point direction. We actually have a, an explicit curve that we can pick to define the axis of rotation. So I can select this curve. You notice that it sketches what we're going to end up with. And I'm going to change the angle to 360 degrees and then click OK to accept. And same thing, I'm going to select that and change it to shaded so you can see the result of that operation. And that's how you go about creating a surface of revolution. Again, you just need the curve that you'd like to revolve and then a way to define the axis. And then you can create that surface. Hope that helps. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.